Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you a vehicle that is driving on a straight road, attempting to change lanes. This is the vehicle right here. These are the lanes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The blue line is the reference trajectory that the vehicle needs to follow. And then the red line is where the vehicle actually goes. This is the zoomed in version of the vehicle. This is the vehicle's body and this is its front wheel that creates a steering wheel angle that makes the vehicle turn. The goal here is to find the right front wheel steering angle so that the car would follow the trajectory as close as possible. This is the system that we are going to be using as we start our journey in model predictive control. I will treat the simulation in a more detailed way in the end of the course where I will explain to you the code as well. Here I have the control input, the vehicle's orientation and the vertical position as a function of time. But now the question is why should we learn model predictive control or MPC? I mean can't I just apply a PID controller and that's it? The answer is yes and no. You can do it however it is trickier and a well-tuned MPC controller with a good mathematical model gives you a better result than a well-tuned PID controller. In fact, here I have applied a PID controller to the vehicle. As you can see, the vehicle is following the trajectory, but it could be better. And note the oscillations here. The front wheel and the vehicle oscillates a bit. And now I'll show you the same simulation but with an MPC controller. Much better, right? MPC is more advanced than PID and it is widely used in complex systems like airplanes, drone, complex water management systems and others so it is worth learning. In the end of the course, when you have mastered MPC, I will show you why it is superior to PID. We will compare them more. I wish you a great learning experience.